What is going on guys and welcome back to another video here at Zingel Music. Today what we're going to be doing is a half tutorial and a half behind the scenes look at a Logic session that I made almost three years ago for a YouTube video that is still up and a lot of you guys have asked so many questions on this video and we're going to try to cover that all in this video and if you guys don't know what video I'm talking about it's this one right here. So me and my now brother-in-law made that video, which is a cover of the Seaside Kingdom from Super Mario Odyssey. We made that video three years ago and wow, yeah, I kind of fell off the YouTube train here for a little bit, <laughs> but okay, we're going back at it now. So if you guys are coming from my other channel, welcome to this one. There's going to be a lot more coming to this one. This is, I think now a week old. So. Let's, uh, let's dive into the Logic session first, and then we'll go into the tutorial where I show you what guitar chords we're playing, and the lead part that I'm playing, uh, we'll throw up the tabs on screen for you guys. So uh, let's go do that right now. Okay, so as you guys can see on the screen, this is the Logic session that I have. Before I even start, I do want to apologize for the semi bad audio that you're going to hear from this. I could not figure out how to screen capture my screen on the Mac and the sound as well. So the sound you're going to hear is coming out of the my studio monitors. So uh, bear with me here, but you'll be you will be able to hear it. So check this out. So this is what we have going on here. There is not too many tracks. You can see here at the bottom that this is the original track. The way I made this back in the day is this is when I first started using Logic and this is what I was doing to kind of help me figure out how to use Logic. So I do a lot of things by ear. So this was the original track that I had down here and I would start kind of isolating in my head what instruments I'm hearing. So you could kind of see like the layout of how I did it. So. I started with the string ensemble. It's basically just a nice little pad layer of, of strings that kind of sit behind the track. So here, I'm gonna play the track right now. Which is this. Nothing too special, just holding out the chords. Right? All it is, all it is. Okay, we also have wind chimes that happens just kind of on the turnaround, um, which is right here. Pay attention to it. Listen. Hear that? So that just happens on the turnarounds. That's pretty much it. See like when the song's about to start again right here, where we start up, right? Listen. All it is... Okay, let's go to the percussion section of this. So we have a shaker that I heard, we have a snare rim, we have a bass drum, we have a triangle, and we have congas. So with all that, oh, and there's some steel drum, but that's that's a little later on. So check this out, the, the shakers, all right? Snare rim, mm-hmm, bass drum, And we're starting. Uh, where is it? So the triangle is kind of the same thing. It's a, it's all the turnaround. So, all right, it's actually right before the turnaround. <laughs> Congas, last one. So this is the whole percussion section that you're hearing behind what we're playing. Okay. So we have all that. We also have the vibraphone at the beginning, which is just kind of holding the melody before we start playing, which is this. Okay, that's what we have so far, we're almost done. 
there's a part later on where there's a part later on where you hear the piano and you hear the steel drum come in and listen to this this is later on after the the whole thing repeats once so And like I said, these are just things that I heard in the track, in the actual track for the video game. And it may not be 100% correct, but it was all about making it as close as possible just to do a guitar cover of it. So uh, that piano track is this, just so you can hear isolated. Mm -hmm. And the steel drums. And by the way, this all this is done like the steel drum, for example. This is the MIDI that I created for it. You can see the blue is when it's hitting lighter, and green is when it's starting to hit harder. So you just kind of, this is how you kind of give it a little more life, and you don't make it sound as robotic, right? So if I take out the piano and you hear the steel drums, this is what you would hear. Check this out. It's just so it's hitting the different art articulations going through it. I mean, obviously, when you're hearing it by itself, it doesn't sound as real, but when you tuck it in the back, when you have everything playing, pay attention to the steel drum. Listen to this. It sounds nice. Cool. All right, guys, and then, I mean, I have the bass. That's one of the last things before we get to the guitar section. The bass I did with my brother-in-law, the one in the video, I did with his bass, um, and it was nothing special. I just kind of EQ'd it to the point where it actually kind of sounds like a fretless bass. Um, let's see. I hope you can hear this. <laughs> Cool. And that's that's very tucked into the back to keep the rhythm. And then obviously my guitar. So that's what you guys you have, the acoustic. A lot of people were asking, what chords are we playing behind this? In this tutorial that we're gonna go into right now, that's where you'll hear it. That's basically it, nice and simple guys. Um, if you do, want to see more about this or want to learn more about this like laying down the tracks and and all all of this right here uh leave a comment down below and let me know because i would love to continue doing little tutorials on logic and and to kind of help you guys create backing tracks of your own so yeah let's uh let's go to the tutorial now all right guys let's go ahead and get started on the tutorial section of this video so start off by capoing your first fret here I'm going to play it normal speed and I'm going to slow it down and explain it. You're going to see all this, uh, the chords up on screen here. So take a look. Let's go ahead and explain that section here. So start off with a D major 7. major 7, E minor 7, A7. Repeat. C9. Cool. This would be verse 1, and this part is when you start hearing the... Okay? So that part is going to sound like this.
go ahead and explain that part. Same thing, D major 7. Kind of hold that out there. Okay, new chords, here we go. F sharp minor. Now this section. Whoops, not that. So you go from an F sharp minor. This one's an F13. Check the diagram on the screen. And I'm going to hit that F13 twice and then take my pinky off and do the F7. So it'll sound like this. One more time. And go to E minor. A7. Back down to F sharp. Now for this part, again, F13, F7. I'm only going to hit the 13 once, so it's going to be... So... E minor and A7. Alright, let's go ahead and work on verse 2 here. It's almost the same, except at the very beginning you're doing the intro chord progression and at the very end it kind of takes a little turn and goes into some new chords. So let's go ahead and play that normal speed and then we'll slow it down and explain it. Slow it down now. So, same thing, D major 7. G major 7. E minor 7. A7. Like the intro. F sharp minor. That thing we talked about. Same thing. Here's the change. So B minor seven, A or E seven, A sus four to A. That's all it is. One more time for that little turn around. Perfect. Now we're on to the bridge. So the bridge section is definitely a little bit different and it starts off with a B flat. So let's go ahead and play through it once and then we'll slow it down and explain it. Cool. Let's slow that down and explain what's going on. So, starts off with B flat, like I said. D major seven. Back to the B flat. Now this chord. Notice there's no chord diagram on the screen. It's because I couldn't figure out what chord this is exactly. Remember that we learned this whole thing by ear and this one we're not sure about. So if you guys know what chord it is, leave it in the comments down below. That would be a huge help. But basically what we're doing here is basically think of a D, just a D chord, right? Take off your first finger and leave that one open. So you have this in the bottom. It's beautiful. 
and then with your thumb, or if you want, however you want to get to it, uh, I use my thumb for it, uh, thumb the third fret. So you have this when you're finger picking. Notice the second finger is lifting off of that note. Perfect. So one more time, going around that, B flat. Major seven, back to B flat, and here we go. Perfect. Now you hear it in context. So now we go to a G minor, C nine again, F major, and this is B flat major seven. Now down to F sharp minor seven to a B seven E major seven and a seven or a major seven and now wrapping it up D major seven to G major seven back to D major seven back to ending it on a G major seven so ending is this Let's move on to the tab part of the video where you get to see all the lead guitar playing of this song. All right, guys, let's go ahead and work on the lead guitar part of the song. So if you guys don't know, this is a quick little tip. YouTube allows you to slow down the video. So I'm going to go ahead and put the tabs on screen and play the song. If you guys need to hear it slower, I recommend go to the little uh, settings wheel right there on the video and go to playback speed and you can slow it down. Uh, that way you can help. I use it all the time. It helps me to learn parts that are really fast. But anyways, so the first part of this is going to be split it, split up into eight parts. So this is the first part of the taps, which is... Okay. Part two. Part three is where it starts adding some harmony. I'll explain what's going on there. Look at the tabs on the screen. So you have, slide that one. Here's the harmonies again. It's basically stacked note right there on the eight. Split these two, split them again, and stack at the top. That's so nice, I love that part. Okay, now we start going into the bridge part of the song, which goes like this. Now for this part, you're going to be hammering on four different notes. It's kind of like a little roll. Just hammer on, use all your fingers. Cool. Let me do that part one more time. slide cool now we have this next part that is um, climbing on the four and six which is one 
more time on that one. Now we come to this last part, which is a little lick that's ending the song. It's going to go like this. Notice all the different slides you're hearing. One more time. All right, guys, thank you so much for coming in and watching this tutorial video. Um, if you guys like having me teach you stuff here on this YouTube channel, give me a like, let me know in the comments. Uh, I'm still kind of experimenting which direction we should go or we, if we should go in every direction and just have a little bit of something for everyone. Um, do not forget to subscribe. Let's, uh, let's get this channel up and going and uh, there's a lot more videos that are going to be coming your way. So you guys, thank you so much and we'll see you on the next video.